Hey guys, how's it going? Do you have sludge in your engine? Well, if you do, in years past, if you had sludge in your engine, that was game over. Game over? The only way that you could actually get rid of it would be to remove the engine and just flush it out. Might as well do a rebuild, put new rings, new bearings at that point. But nowadays and over the years you know there have been many products that have claimed that they can get rid of the sludge in your engine and i'm sure there probably are but in what i've experienced over the years is uh you put a product into the crankcase and you run it and it does get sludge loosen sludge out and then it gets all caught up in the uh oil pickup screen and then the uh, oil pump and the engine starves for oil and then it, you just basically ruin your engine and well if you have sludge in your engine your engine starting to get ruined anyway you know but uh, there is one product and it's a product by BG that will clean this sludge out it'll get the sludge clean it will pretty much get rid of it and it's an amazing product. I am no way, shape, or form associated or affiliated with BG products. Um, and uh, I have no sponsorship. Um, they do not pay me anything. But this product works. And I've seen it work and I've been amazed. Of course, the very first time I used it, I was very skeptical. It's like, this ain't gonna work, you know. But it does, it, it works. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how we can save this engine. So this engine has sludge in it. And this is a Kia Optima, but it doesn't matter what vehicle you have. If it's got sludge, it's got sludge, you know, and this will work. It doesn't have to be a Kia. And I mean, you can see that right there. If you can see it, maybe it would help if I turn this light on. If you can see that, yeah, it's sludged. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a de-sludge procedure on this. And the reason why the vehicle's in is not because it has sludge, it's in because it has codes, codes for uh, camshaft, uh, um, over advanced, over retarded, uh, cam slow to respond. And what that is, is it deals with the uh, CVVT, which is a constant variable valve timing, which phases your camshaft in association with the crankshaft. And it gives you, you know, more power, more torque, you know, better emissions, you know, stuff like that, you know. Well, it uses oil pressure through an oil control valve which actually phases that camshaft actuator. And if it ain't getting enough oil pressure and getting the right oil pressure, then it can't phase it and it will start setting codes. It's actually kind of your early warning signal saying, hey, dude, you're not changing your oil, you know? And that's what causes sludge. So it's just not doing the oil changes. So let me show you this product and we're gonna get in, we're gonna do a flush on this and this should be a pretty quick video. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's get in here and see what we got. Um, what we're going to be doing is basically um, th like three oil changes um, and we're going to be putting this product in there. It's going to be flushing it out and we're going to be draining it and then uh, filling it with good oil. And that's going to be pretty much it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put this product, this uh, 44K, and this is going into the gas tank. And why are we putting stuff in the gas tank? You know, we're supposed to be cleaning the sludge out. Well, we're gonna be running this at higher RPMs. You know, uh, I think it's about 3000 RPMs for 40 for, to 45 minutes. It's a long time. Um, this will uh, put um, 
this cleans out your fuel injection system. It cleans out your fuel system. It, uh, it uh, goes through uh, your combustion chamber and it, you know, it helps to protect it in a certain way. So we're going to put this in first. That's the first part of it. Then we have this dynamic engine cleaner. So we're going to put this in there. We are going to run the vehicle up to operating temperature and we're going to drain the oil and then we we're going to put a new oil filter and we're not going to put oil in it we're going to put this stuff this um uh, dynamic engine cleaner and then we're going to run it for a certain amount of time uh, i think it may be 40 45 minutes at 3000 rpm something like that i got to get into it, the instructions somewhere around here and um then after that we're going to drain the oil we're going to drain this stuff out of it and we're going to put a new oil filter on it and then we're going to run this rinse oil and this is going to rinse all the sludge and everything um, that uh, we just broke loose it's going to rinse it all out of there make it a liquid and then we're going to drain that and we're going to put a new oil filter on it fill it with fresh oil and we're going to put some of this moa in there and this is a uh, engine oil supplement and it uh, helps uh, protect the engine and stuff like that and then uh, at that point um, you need to change your oil you know change your oil in a timely manner and this won't happen now this uh, kit is it's not cheap you know I mean uh, it's uh, it's gonna run you probably about three four hundred dollars uh, to have this service done but I mean compare that to replacing the engine so um, it's a lot cheaper than getting an engine done and you know if you do your oil changes in a timely manner you don't have to worry about this okay let's get this stuff in here Put this uh, 44K into the gas tank. That's the first step. All right, I got the engine running, um, getting up to operating temperature. And uh, then we are going to put the dynamic engine cleaner in and uh, the right amount of engine cleaner because uh, this is six quarts. Uh, this engine doesn't take six quarts, it takes five. So we're gonna put five quarts of the engine dynamic cleaner in after we drain this oil. So operating temperature, drain the oil, change the oil filter, put the engine dynamic cleaner in, five quarts, because that's what this engine takes. And then we're gonna run it at 3000 RPM for 45 minutes. And the, all the while uh, monitoring oil pressure just to make sure hey, nothing's going on, you know, and we're not uh, losing oil pressure because that would be bad, you know. So um, that's uh, what we're gonna do right now. Let this thing get up to operating temperature and uh, we're gonna change oil. Okay, now we are going to drain the oil in this thing. Now that it's nice and hot that is um, I pulled the oil control valve off of this and I pulled it out to see you know if it was sludged up and um, it had uh, a bunch of uh, carbon build up it wasn't sludged up too bad but um, you know oil passages can get uh, sludged up as well they can be blocked the um, CVVT actuator itself can be blocked um, so um, and the vehicle has sludge uh, do not know for a fact that this is going to fix it but we need to fix you know the kangaroo you know that's sitting in the room there and that's the sludge you know so let's get rid of the sludge and then uh, clear the code drive it see what happens so that's what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna go through three oil filters today on this so I'm gonna finish draining this oil out and get 
get the uh, the BG stuff in there and um, you know with a, a new oil filter and I'm going to of course replace this gasket on this thing and um, then we'll we'll get going Okay, I'm gonna start pouring this stuff in here. It's, uh, it looks like a very thin oil. Engine dynamic cleaner. We need to get five quarts of this six quart jug in here. You can do this on diesel engines too. So, in this case, we are going to run this vehicle up to 3,000 RPMs for 45 minutes. If it was a diesel, then they want you to run it at 1,000 RPM for 45 minutes. Uh, a little bit more, you know, just, just in case. And then I'll check the oil level make sure that we're we're good i'm actually going to run it for a little bit and um get um oil or get this cleaner stuff in through the in through the new oil filter and then i'll check the oil level make sure it's good and then we will um, get this thing up to 3000 rpm and i'll show you how we do that i'll show you how bg says to do it so let's try it Okay, this is how BG wants you to hold this thing at 3,000 RPMs. I have this funnel in here going between the seat and the gas pedal. Uh, and of course, right now it's only at about almost two grand. It's actually coming down. So trying to get this set is really tough. But with Kia, the if you if i bring the rpms up over 3000 or to 3000 actually i don't know if it, i can bring it up over 3000 now the thing's slipping on me but if i bring it up over to 3000 or higher for a certain amount of time the rpms will automatically drop to 2500 so i can't hold this thing at 3000 rpm uh, so it's going to have to be 2500 uh, once the thing drops to 2500, I can put the gas pedal all the way to the floor and it won't go over 2500. So, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, I'll get uh, something, I'll get the thing to drop to 2500 RPM and I'll just jam it onto that brake, on that, to that gas pedal. And that'll hold it at 2500, I can't hold it at 3000 because Kia just won't let me. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, get that set up and I'll show you how that works okay this is what I got going on here and this is a device called Revit it's for one of um, BG's other services and what I did is I just held it on there the good thing is it's it's made that it actually attaches to the brake to the gas pedal so it'll stay on there and it won't slip off and it goes to the steering wheel here and what I did is I let the thing run uh, to over 3,000 RPMs and then after about 20, 30 seconds, it drops about 25. So you can see what it's doing there. And I have the gas pedal jammed all the way to the floor. So this is just the way it's gonna be. So I will let it run for 45 minutes and then we will uh, drain that stuff out of there and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. So let's get this thing up and get that uh, stuff drained out of there. And then we are going to put the rinse stuff in there. So let's get that out of there. 
Okay, the fun part. Let's get this boiling hot stuff out of here. And believe me, it is hot. Grab that. It's steaming. And then I'm going to, of course, we're gonna replace the filter. Filter collects a lot of the sludge that broke loose. So we need to put a new filter in there too. And what we're gonna do is put the uh, rinse, the um, BG rinse fluid in it. And this time we're gonna run it at, well, they say 3000 RPMs, but we can only get up to 2500 with this Kia. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna uh, go ahead and put the rinse fluid in there. We're gonna run at 2500 RPM for this time it's only going to be uh, 20 minutes uh, rather than 45 minutes and uh, we're just basically going to do the same thing and then we will put the new oil in it and it should be good to go so uh, let me finish getting this drain and let's uh, put that rinse fluid in there okay now and i haven't touched this at all and this is just a cap so I cannot remember if I showed that to you before, but it was covered with sludge. Now it just has this small little piece right here. I did not wipe this off at all. Uh, but let's finish this up. Let's get this rinse fluid in here. Rinse oil, that's what they call it. So six quarts, I only need five. Uh, of course, if you were doing this on a diesel or a bigger engine and takes seven eight quarts of oil you're probably gonna have to buy two of these kits which is gonna double the amount that uh, double the price at least and like I said this stuff is not cheap but it is a lot cheaper than replacing an engine and this stuff smell it smells kind of like uh, pine saw or something it's definitely a, an oil, so, but it's like a very thin oil. So I'll put about that much. <clears throat> I will start it up, let it run through the brand new oil filter we got in there and um, turn it off, let it sit a little bit, check the level, I'll adjust the level and then we'll get the, um, the, rig set up on the on the gas pedal there in uh, another 20 minutes okay let's start this up i already adjusted the level i'm gonna push on this well let's see i'm gonna hook this up to the steering wheel first at least i'm gonna try this thing does not want to move Okay, now I'm gonna give it some gas. That's almost four grand right there. I'll drop it down about 3,500, a little below, wait 20 seconds or so and the thing's gonna automatically drop. As long as I keep it over three grand, it'll automatically drop. Okay, there it goes, it's dropping. Now I can put the gas pedal. Oh wait. Never mind. I let it I let it drop I let it drop down. Okay, so <laughs> waiting 3500 RPM. Wait for it to drop. Come on. Okay, there it goes. Now I'm pushing the gas pedal to the floor. Bringing this back. Okay, so now the gas pedal is all the way to the floor. I don't know if you can tell that, but we are sitting at around 2,500 RPM and it'll sit right there. It's gonna vary a little bit like that. But I'm going to uh, set a timer for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes, uh, we will come back and we will change the oil, or 
take that stuff out and put some oil in. So um, I'll bring it back when the, after 20 minutes. All right, it's been over 20 minutes and this thing's been running nice and hot. So let's get the thing up and let's uh, drain all that rinse oil out of there. All right, this is the last step, the last time. Drain this hot, hot rinse oil out of here. Hopefully without burning myself. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> and it does, it smells like, um, you know, cleaner for sure. Smells like pine saw. And we'll take a look inside the valve cover. I'm not gonna pull the valve cover off, but we will look inside uh, the oil fill and see if we can see any sludge in there. Uh, hopefully there's no sludge, there shouldn't be. Uh, after doing this entire thing. And, um, you know, I mean, this, this can, it can save your vehicle. You know, it really can, it can save your engine. Um, it can save your pocketbook. I mean, you know, um, he thought she was getting the oil changes done on the car. She thought he was getting the oil changes done on the car. Nobody was getting the oil changes done on the family car. Of course, you know, things happen. Families are more important than cars, you know, and um, it, it just happens. The engines start to sludge up and um, an engine that is sludged up, um, it, even if it's covered under powertrain warranty, if the engine starts to go out, it starts knocking or something, no matter what kind of vehicle you own, you take it into the dealer, they see that sludge, it's gonna void your powertrain warranty and then you're gonna be the one paying for an engine or get rid of the car, buy a new car. Either way, it's gonna be expensive. If um, you see this sludge build up, you do this job, it gets rid of the sludge. Um, and then just say maybe for some reason it is starting to compromise the engine, but you got rid of the sludge, you go back in because your engine is knocking. They don't see any sludge. Hey, you're covered under powertrain warranty. So it, it helps. Of course, if your engine's knocking because it's sludged up, it's too late. This, this ain't gonna help you because it's just going to, uh, the engine will probably grenade trying to do this. I mean, this thing running at, uh, we can only get it to 2,500 RPMs, but 2,500 RPMs for 45 minutes. I mean, it's getting loud in here with this engine running and hot, you know, the, this engine, you know, it, um, it, it toughed it out. It, it did a good job. It really did. Um, no knocking, nothing like that. And the oil light never came on or anything. Um, but if your engine is sludged up and knocking, it's too late to do this job. Um, so uh, get it, you know, ahead of time and get the sludge taken care of. And um, possibly you'll never have any issues with your engine. Um, sludge buildup will definitely cause uh, an engine to lose uh, oil pressure and no oil pressure means your bearings ain't, they ain't getting oil and they will go out. I guarantee you, your engine will start knocking, it will lock up or even worse, it'll throw a rod. Uh, throwing a rod, you know, out the side of the block. When you're driving 70 miles an hour down the road, it's not good. Uh, oil getting all over a hot exhaust can cause even a fire, you know. I mean, it's just, it's just bad, you know, of course, you're gonna hear the engine knocking before it just decides to throw a rod, uh, most of the time anyway. Uh, but uh, let's, let me uh, finish knocking this out and we'll get some fresh oil in here and we'll, we'll take a look in there and see, see what we see. All right. So let's get a look in here. There's a little bit of sludge still on this, but this, I mean, this is the cap, right? How high does this stuff have to splash? But I want you to look in here. Hopefully I showed you what this thing looked like before. I did, I'll show you a before and after. Um, if you look down in there, there used to be a bunch of sludge. 
I mean, just everything was covered with sludge in there. It wasn't that bad. It was definitely sludgy. And it is looking good. It's looking clean. All the way in there. It's looking clean. So, uh, and I don't know if you had noticed uh, when I was showing you the uh, dashboard, the RPMs and stuff like that, I had a check engine light on. And the check engine light was for this cam phasing stuff, you know. Um, and uh, it's because there's sludge in the engine. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, oil in this thing, get it running, make sure it's all topped off, make sure everything's good, go drive it, and see if that code comes back. And um, we'll, um, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay guys, um, I went ahead and I drove it and um, I got no codes. You can see here, I got no DTCs, no current, no history. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me show you the code that it did have. There's a screenshot. It had this uh, P000, B00, which uh, B cam position, slow response, bank one. So that's uh, basically the exhaust cam. Uh, over retarded, something like that. The engine actually runs better. So how can an engine run better just from desludging it? Well, the passages were clogged up and not allowing the cam to phase properly. So you're getting a la small lack of power uh, because of that. And now uh, we don't have that. We don't have that lack of power and it's not setting the code. So um, this uh, product can save your engine um, and BG desludge um procedure or whatever uh, like i said i am not associated in any way with uh bg products but i'm gonna tell you what works and this works it's actually amazing so if you have sludge in your engine then um yeah use it and do it uh it it will help yeah i guarantee you it will help and especially with vehicles nowadays with um these um uh, cam phasing um you know cvvts and stuff like that that need those oil passages to be clean um you know it, it can cause a lot of issues uh, getting sludge in there um and like i said before it's almost kind of like your early warning signal telling you hey you know, you got some sludge in here, you need to do something about it, you know, so before it actually ruins your engine. Um, so, um, and that's uh, pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, there's, uh, uh, sorry about, you know, it's been taking a while for me to get some videos out. It's uh, a little bit harder for me to film videos in the shop now. So there's going to be some changes coming to the channel. Channel's not going anywhere, you know, so hang on. You know um and but uh and i'll probably uh, put a short video up on uh what changes are gonna come uh, and that'll probably be coming pretty soon thank you very much for watching i appreciate the heck out of each and every one of you and i will see you in the next one